Hello people, I have another grocery haul for you. Um, so this is my first time to Costco. Is it Costco or Costco? I don't know, whatever. I mean, I've had like Sam's Club memberships before, but this is the first, I think the first time I've been to Costco. I don't know, people like hype it up. They're like, I love Costco, it's the best ever. Uh, honestly, like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I've been going to Sam's Club since I was like little. Like my mom always had a Sam's Club membership and then we've had a Sam's Club membership in the past. So I don't know if it's just because it's new to me, but I wasn't feeling like the oh, like angels singing kind of choir. You know what I mean? I was just like, okay, like what's so special about this place? They did, I will say, they did have a ton of samples out. It's what is today? Thursday? So just a random day, right? And they had a ton of samples. By the last one, we just like shopping through the store, by the time we were done, Avelina was like, I'm full. I was like, yeah, because you ate like a day's worth of calories with all these little samples. Anyway, um, I will say some of the things I could like, okay, so we're going to the beach. This is a long intro. I'm sorry, short story long. We're going to the beach for a few days. Uh, we ha we're going to a beach house. So I was looking for like hot dogs or something. And Sam's Club, you can buy like 48 hot dogs for like five bucks or maybe cheaper than that. I don't know. But um, at Costco, I couldn't find them cheaper than $12 or something like that. $15, somewhere around there. And I was like, what? Not that we buy hot dogs on a regular basis to make that like, oh, Costco doesn't have hot dogs cheap enough. But that I was just like, why, why, is, why do people love Costco? I don't know. Share with me your favorite things to buy at Costco. Maybe I'm just missing out. Maybe I'm just being Moody Judy because I had three of my kids with me today and I was like not having it. But needless to say, I spent hundreds of dollars there and Alex is like, what are you going to call this haul? Mini Costco haul? I was like, mini? You, you should see the receipt. Check our, check our credit card statement. Uh, anyway, I'll show you what I got after 20 minutes of talking. Oh great, and my battery's gonna die. Okay, so this is it as a whole. I'll go through them. Strawberries, I wish I could tell you the prices, but I wasn't paying attention that much. Less than $5, I wanna say. Raspberries, did these get crushed in the car or something? Raspberries, pecans, I wanted to make Alex a treat. The sugar-coated pecans, I think I have a recipe for that on my channel. They're the best. Uh, we recently went to like a street fair and they had some of these, or we went somewhere. Maybe a theme park? I don't know. Anyway, they were selling these and I was like, oh my gosh, I can make those at home. Um, a huge thing of spinach. It's actually not that huge. Alex is like, how are we going to eat that much spinach? Well, we will. Oh, don't let me forget to show you I have apples in the outside fridge. Um, grapes. This thing is huge. This was $7 or $7.88, somewhere, somewhere around those lines. Four pounds of grapes. So that that's a lot of grapes. You know what I mean? Um, this, I was surprised to see that they had this. Okay, so I am kind of happy with some of the purchases, some of the things that they had there. I feel like Costco has a lot of organic-ish stuff, like more healthy than Sam's, even though Sam's Club is coming around. I don't, anyway. Um, crispy broccoli. So I've got these from Trader Joe's before, not these exact kind, but this kind of like broccoli chip kind of thing. So um, yeah, Alex really likes those. The kids like those. And then these are blueberries. They're dried blueberries, not freeze dried, but they're dried. So they're more like a gummy texture than like a crunch of a freeze dried blueberry. Um, Pirate's Booty over there. I got a huge thing of onions. A lot of recipes that I'm doing lately involves a lot of onions and I don't complain. I love onions. Um, taco seasoning. One thing that Costco didn't have that I, well, they might have it. I couldn't find it. Uh, again, it was my first time there. So I was like going through the aisles real slow, but they didn't have gravy seasoning, like a huge thing like this, but I'm happy with the taco seasoning. Avocados. Um, normally we get these, we pick these from my husband's grandfather's orchard, but I don't know if he, his are um, ripe yet or ready to pick. I don't know. So I just bought these for Wentworth to eat. Um, Alex likes to eat them too. Huge thing of potatoes. Like I said, we're going to the beach for a few days. So I want to make some freezer meals and the kids I know love like roasted potatoes. So that's always a good thing. Just an easy thing to like throw in the oven with a little bit of um, olive oil and salt and pepper and throw them in the oven for like, I don't know, until they're done. 25, 30 minutes, maybe a little more if they're bigger. Um, chicken salad. And I have some rolls for the chicken salad. How much was this? Six something. Yeah. $6.49 and then this was, <laughs> this is $12. But this is, I mean, there's a lot in here. So two and a half pounds almost. So it'll last a while. Also got butter. They didn't have the dairy-free butter, but I'm not complaining. Like, um, Sam's Club doesn't have it either. I'm going to be comparing Costco to Sam's Club probably for the next few times I go there. <laughs> but 
Um, they had all this butter. It was like 11 bucks. I've actually never bought butter in bulk like this, but I was watching a video earlier and they were like, freeze all the things. And I was like, yes, let me, I need to freeze all the things. So, um, yeah, that got me to buy a bunch of butter just to freeze. Cause sometimes when I make, you guys know I love brownies, even though I don't think you need butter for brownies, you need oil, but I do make cakes and stuff and desserts, cookies, you know, that kind of thing. So you always need like a stick of butter for that. Oh, ho, ho, yes, bacon. I know I just told you like last week that we were going to do like um, less animal products. <laughs> ah, Wells. Uh, found some bacon over there. I, you know, bacon and Brussels sprouts, bacon and potatoes, bacon and broccoli, bacon and everything is delicious. So um, I got it. I, we actually haven't had any in quite a while. So. I love bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? Got a huge thing of hummus here. We, you know, I love hummus too. Hummus. Pulled pork, smoked pulled pork. That's stuff. Well, I actually haven't had this kind yet, so I'll let you know how it is. Maybe if we eat it before I post this video. But um, yeah, this stuff is always a winner. Actually, you know what? I might pack this for the beach house. That seems like an easy like this with beans and maybe corn, and you're done with dinner, right? Throw it all in the oven. Um, I needed this for our energy balls. I wanted to make them the other day, but we ran out of honey and then agave. I ran out of agave and honey, both at the same time. So I needed some of that stuff. Delicious. It's like liquid sugar, right? Um, oh, and some honey over here. Honey. They also had a honking thing, like the size of that thing of toilet paper, a huge thing of honey. And it was cheaper than this was, but I was like, I, I won't be able to hold that and pour it and use it and store it. You know what I mean? So I just, I thought this would be easier to use up. Um, I have heard crazy amazing things about this basil pesto. Did I buy the right kind? Everyone's like, Costco has the best pesto. Um, I don't know. We're about to find out, I guess. <laughs> That's a lot of pesto though. Um, I don't remember how much that was. I want to say $11. Is that a lot? $8? Somewhere around there. It was crazy. Um, this, of course, I couldn't leave Costco without a treat. I almost didn't buy these, but they were um, on sale. Coconut almond with dark chocolate. So basically like an almond joy in there. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, this bag will probably be gone tonight. Um, I got a huge thing of corn. I think there's 12 cans in there of just kernel corn. I got some black beans in here. This was one, two, three, four, five, six. So this was six dollars and seventy cents ish, and this was like, uh, I don't remember, but it was a good price. It was a good deal for this. This was like eh, almost a dollar a can kind of thing, but that's how much I pay for black beans anyway. What else is over here? Oh my gosh! One night when I was postpartum, one of my friends brought me a freezer meal, or no, it was warm when she brought it, and um. I have been trying to recreate it ever since. Sorry, Avelina is like asking if she can have raspberries. Yes, you can have raspberries. Take them. Um, chicken and roasted vegetable quesadilla. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure this is what she brought me. This whole time I was thinking, oh, she made me a homemade meal and blah, blah, blah. And I've been trying to recreate them and they have not been coming out as good as what she made me ever since. And I've been asking her like, do you make them on the, on the grill? Do you make them on the stove, in the oven, yada, yada? You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. I found these and I was like, that little, the tricky woman she is. I mean, not that she's tricky. She wasn't like, yeah, these are homemade, but I just assumed. Anyway, I cannot wait to eat these and make them. It's going to be delicious. Bring me back to my like one day postpartum. <laughs> Actually, I think it was like a week. Anyway, bushel of bananas right there. I should have bought more because I think we're out of bananas over there. Our whole fruit bowl is like barren. Um, found these again for the beach house. I like to bring little snack bags with us just to have on the beach. I would rather have little bags where they stick their sandy hands in them. They can ruin a little bag rather than ruining like a large size regular bag. So um, I don't know how these taste. We've never had them. I don't think we've ever had them. Bunny grams. Uh, these are chocolate, chocolate chip, honey, and then cheddar bunnies. I don't know. I'm sure they'll eat them if they don't. Uh, other kids will who visit our house. And then these are gummy packs of gummies. How many are in here? A lot. 42 pouches guys oh my gosh and the price for this i want to say like less than 15 dollars for 42 pa it's like crazy in the store i feel like i get like five packs for i don't like four dollars or five dollars it's crazy so of course i got that oh i got some what is this vinegar i wash my cloth diapers in the laundry and for like a natural disinfectant i use vinegar but i've been running running out i ran out mm, like two weeks ago i don't know so i use that what else do i use it for 
I don't know, a whole bunch of stuff to clean. And then over here, the whole reason I went to Costco was because I needed the toilet paper. Avelina was like, make sure you get Charmin Ultra Soft. And I was like, well, how do you know anything about toilet paper? You're six years old. Um, she's like, commercials. Anyway, so good marketing, but Costco only had like three kinds of toilet paper to choose from. And I feel like Sam's Club has like I eight or so, you know what I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but last time I bought toilet paper was like December. Okay. Last thing. All right. So we're out in my garage fridge. Last thing. Oh, look how clean it is in here. Gross. Um, I bought this honking thing of apples, all of those apples for $10. All right, I'm really surprised that my camera hasn't died yet. Woohoo! Uh, but yeah, that is everything that I bought from Costco. What's for dinner tonight? Who the heck knows? I still need like more greens, I think, like zucchini in particular. I really want to put like zucchini on the grill. I'm like craving that. What else? Mmm, something delicious. I have a bunch. Oh, they didn't have frozen broccoli there. They did have frozen Brussels sprouts, but I have plenty of Brussels sprouts that I haven't eaten yet since uh, last week I went to Trader Joe's. And I don't know, zucchini comes to mind when I'm like, I need more vegetables. But they did have a ton of fruit there. I don't know. Anyway, I'm happy that we have Costco membership. I, I do like Costco, but everyone seems to be like, I, I guess it was like really hyped up for me. So I was like, I can't wait to go. And then I went and I was like, oh, okay, this is the, you know, warehouse kind of thing. Anyway, let me know how much you love Costco. Let me know your favorite thing to get there. Maybe I'll look for it next time. And uh, yeah, like secret gems, treasures, whatever. Thanks so much for watching though and hanging out. I will see you next time. Bye. So I'm putting my groceries away right now and I just hit 10,000 steps. And it reminded me that I think another reason why I'm being Moody Judy is because um, pushing a grocery cart, my Fitbit doesn't count my steps. Not that like I really care, of, I'm not like obsessing over my steps or anything, but I was like, I thought it was supposed to count your steps when you're pushing, I guess it doesn't. Little did I know. So that was another reason I was like, I just walked forever. We were there for like an hour and a half and it counted like 150 steps or something. I was like, really? Really? Hey buddy, you trying avocado? You love it? Smash the like button. Oh, Alex! <gasps> Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that <laughs> like button. <laughs>